Hello, I'm Gordon Lang, editor of CameraLabs.com. In this video, I'd like to show you how Live View can prove very, very useful if you're into things like astrophotography. Now, if you're into astrophotography, you're taking pictures of things like the stars, the planets, the moon, or even the sun. And one of the biggest challenges you'll have to face is getting your focusing right. You see, the trouble is most autofocusing systems are absolutely thrown by subjects like these, so you're looking at having to use manual focus. Now these subjects are optically considered to be at infinity, but it's not as simple as just turning your manual focusing ring all the way to one end, because if you try that, you'll see that most lenses actually go to infinity and slightly beyond. Now that's nothing to do with Buzz Lightyear, but everything to do with things like atmospheric variations and optical expansion. The fact is, if you are trying to focus on a subject like this, you'll simply have to peer through the optical viewfinder and adjust that manual focusing ring very, very carefully. And probably also take some test shots and zoom in on them afterwards to make sure your focusing was absolutely right. Now with live view on cameras like Canon's EOS 40D, live suddenly becomes much, much easier because you actually can see a view of what the sensor is going to capture. And better still, you can magnify it by five times, or in some cases, even 10 times. And that allows you to achieve very, very precise focus. Now I'm going to show you this in practice in just a moment, but I'm going to make life even more difficult by not actually using a camera lens. I'm going to attach the Canon EOS 40D to the end of a telescope to a Teleview Genesis SDF model. Now this is going to be using a technique called Prime Focus, which is effectively using the telescope as a very long telephoto lens. Now this telescope has a focal length of 540mm, and of course the field reduction factor of the 40D means it will be effectively working at 864mm. But that's still not quite enough when you're taking pictures of things like the moon, so I'm also going to use a teleconverter to multiply that by two times to give me a total effective focal length of 1,728mm. So this is going to be a very, very powerful lens. And as you'll see in the video, that can be quite a challenge to get focused properly. One of the other challenges is, of course, mounting the camera on the telescope in the first place. And to do that, you'll need an accessory like this. And this is called a T-mount. It's actually a tube without any glass in the middle, so it's quite an affordable accessory. And what you have on one end is a special bayonet mounting that's designed to fit your camera. You can get models that work with Canon, Nikon, Pentax, Olympus, any other kind of camera you can mention. And on the other end, I actually got a two inch tube, a two inch diameter tube. And it's designed to slot into the end of the telescope where the eyepiece would normally go. So let's see how all this works together in practice. So here's the Teleview Genesis telescope, and what I'm doing here is removing the eyepiece and the diagonal mirror. Once that's off, I'll get the EOS 40D and mount the T-mount adapter, and this slots on in exactly the same way as if you were actually mounting a lens. And then the whole unit can then slot into the back of the telescope where the eyepiece would normally go. And you just tighten this screw here to stop it falling out. So now I unlock the focusing mechanism and then turn this wheel to the side of the telescope to actually adjust the focus. Now it's important to note that when you're working at very high magnifications, this actual focusing process will cause the image to wobble quite a lot and you'll see that happening in just a moment. So now we're going to go outside at night and here is an actual live view of the moon through the 40D and I'm going to magnify a portion to help with the focusing. Here we are at 10 times and you can see a little shimmering due to the atmosphere but now we're going to adjust the focus one way and now the other way and back again a little bit and you can see that is now spot on so we can take a picture. Here's the picture that we've taken and now here's the actual picture itself. And to show you how sharp that is, I'm going to show you some 100% areas of this. This is actually viewing the image one-to-one, -one, and you can see that's pretty sharp as an area to the top side. But it's not just useful for shooting the moon. This little dot in the middle is actually a star. So let's see how this looks when we turn it in and out of focus. So again, you can see it's quite easy to achieve a very sharp focus, even when you're taking pictures of stars. Next up, another dot, but is this a star? No, it's a planet. This is, in fact, Jupiter. And we're going to go through exactly the same process of adjusting the focus. And again, you can see that when you do touch that focusing wheel at this kind of magnification, you do wobble the image quite a lot, but it is still possible to get that focusing spot on. Here we are, just adjusting it, and it's about right about now. And here's the picture enlarged to 400%. And you can see it's actually captured quite a lot of detail on it. There's the actual bands going across the planet's disk.
It's clear to see from that demonstration how useful Live View can be when you need to get your focusing absolutely spot on. And it's not just for precision subjects like astrophotography, it's equally applicable to subjects like macro photography, or indeed anything else where you need to get that focusing spot on and it's quite difficult to tell through the normal optical viewfinder. And of course Live View is a feature that's not just limited to the 40D, you can get it on any other DSLR that has Live View facilities. So if you are into this kind of photography, it's a very useful feature to have at your disposal. But before wrapping up, a quick note on using a T-mount adapter with the 40D. Now we've noticed when using this adapter with previous Canon SLRs and DSLRs that when you have it mounted fully and turned until you hear the click, sometimes the camera locks up and simply won't take a photo. This is also the case with the 40D. When it's mounted properly, we found the 40D came up with an actual error message. Now, the way that we solved this with the 40D in previous Canon models is to simply detach it very slightly, as if you were going to be removing this adapter. So you push the button into the side of the lens mount and turn it just very, very slightly, and then you should find that it will work absolutely fine. You'll be able to take pictures. So, if you want to take pictures with your telescope, Get yourself a T-mount adapter, and if you want to make life much, much easier for yourself when you are focusing, get yourself a DSLR with Live View. You won't regret it. Now, of course, there's much more to the 40D than just Live View, so to find out more about this camera, head on over to www.cameralabs.com. There you'll find our full review and two additional videos that demonstrate this camera's highlights and also its silent shooting facilities.